this is Ginger from Master Switch Scrapper. Today I have a project to share with you for Graphic 45. This is a project that was created using the Graphic 45 Deluxe Collector's Edition Le Romantique. It's actually a leveled up project using one of the Graphic 45, the Club Graphic G45 uh, kits. I chose Volume 1, which was designed by the lovely Annette Green, and um, I chose the Le Romantique Gatefold card. Woo designed again by Nick Green. So I just downloaded the project sheet and I used again the collection kit and also um, the ivory regular tag album. I used two tags out of that as well. So here's what I created. I actually created it to be more like a little folio. So um, for the closure I added a belly band and I used some gold uh, Graphic 45 architecture washi tape right here. I added some of the matte pearl gems in the gold. And then I added some of the flowers, the rose bouquet, I have the classic ivory and the linen, and then the precious pink. So the belly band just slides off. And in the directions, again, I follow the directions verbatim. With the exception of the tags, I used my dies to cover the tags with the same papers that she used. So I did cover the, the tags fully. And then um, behind the little chipboard circles here, I used some more of the gold washi tape and then used a three-quarter circle punch right here and just added those behind there just to make them stand out a little bit more against the green. So then it opens like this and then again this is exactly how it was designed again but I did use the uh, my dies to create the to add the papers here instead of just matting it with just rectangles. And then I did um, add some more of the matte pearl gems inside the holes right here. And then what I wanted to do is I added a secondary pocket here on the front, some more of the cut aparts as well. And then inside the pocket, I have an envelope with the design paper. This is um, a sticker from a sticker sheet. And then inside I made it a card with some more stickers here, here, and then I decorated the inside as well. So that's one of the little extras that I added. So you could um, add photos on the inside of this. You can tuck this full with more photos because there's plenty of room in here. And then I also, um, according to the directions, there's two little tags back here. And I did cut my tags out of some ivory cardstock first and then matted them with the design paper. And then I added some more of the gold washi. And then I also added papers to the back since I used the solid cardstock. So those go back in here. And again, the directions, I follow them. I made the base of the project until I got to the point where um, I had to cover the, or add the papers onto the tags, and then I just used my dies. But all the papers that I used were exactly from the directions. And then that is the back. And then for the closure, instead of just doing the chipboard closure here, I created the belly band. So I'm gonna show you really quick um, how the how I did the pocket and how I um, created this little belly band here. So what you're going to need is again I use the gold uh, washi tape, architecture washi tape in the gloss gold, and then I used um, for the belly band I just took two pieces of the ivory cardstock and these are one inch by twelve inch, and then I just took my glue and I overlapped the pieces. You can use whatever adhesive you want. This is just what is right here. So again, I cut these to one inch and I'm just gonna overlap these two pieces like so. And I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. And then I took my washi tape, and then the tape is one inch wide, so I just I kind of went a little bit over so I could fold it under on one end. And then I just lined it up. A little straighter than that, but. I just did sections at a time. And you're not going to use all of this, but this, 
what is left over I use to create the little circle so and then I just took my bone folder and burnished it really really well And then I didn't create the belly band until after I got all of the decorating done on the project because you don't want it to be um, too tight. So you want to make sure that you get, you know, your pearls on, everything that you're, that's going to go on the inside, get your envelope done, your decorating, um, and get your, um, your other stuff that you're going to put inside your pocket all ready to go and it's all done and the last thing you're going to do is you're going to do your belly band because what the way I did it is I just held it right here and then I just gently wrapped it around because you don't want it to be too tight and then I just took my scissors and trimmed it off because what you're going to do is whatever doily you decide to use. And I wanted to use, I mean, you can use a scallop circle. You can use, you know, whatever you, a uh, pre-made doily. I just wanted something that had a little more substance to glue this to. So I glued the chipboard and I kind of, I glued the doily down first. And then I did the chipboard kind of off center. So that way I would have something to glue my flowers down on. That's why my doily is not very intricate. But you could certainly do use an intricate doily with a solid circle behind it so you had something to glue your flowers and stuff onto. So then I just attached it. I trimmed off what I needed and then I just attached to here. But you want to make sure that you have enough room so it'll slide in and off, on and off like that. And then the excess is what I used. I just took my three quarter inch circle punch and punched out little circles and added those. To the tops of the grommets and then I added the little chipboard pieces. So that's how I did the belly band closure. And then the measurements for the pocket that's on the inside are right here. Um, they measure seven and three quarters by four and a half and it's okay if this is showing because we're going to score this piece. So you're going to get your scoreboard out and just, it's just a simple pocket where you're going to have a half inch tabs on both sides. So I put it in the scoreboard with the seven and three quarters across the top. I'm going to score it a half an inch. I'm going to rotate it at a quarter turn and I'm going to score it at a half an inch. And rotate it one more time in a half an inch. So you have a half an inch on both sides and one along the bottom. So you're done with your scoreboard. And I just picked one of the papers from the Clux, Deluxe Collector's Edition to pick. This is one that I used for my pocket. And then you're going to take your scissors. <clears throat> and I like to um, let's add our tape first. And then I like to trim my corners. So I'm going to add my tape. three tabs and then I'm going to trim my corners out like so. I just like to put my scissors right where those score lines intersect and cut at an angle and then since this is going to be glued on top of design paper I'm going to just miter those top tabs a little bit. And then you're just going to fold on your score lines. And there's your pocket. You just go ahead and take your tape off. You get your project done. And you add. I added the pocket after I got the thing designed. And then just put it on the front like that. I guess I used the butterfly paper. I used this for my envelope. That way I had an even space all the way around here and I did add a little border sticker at the top here as well. So that's how I made the little pocket. And then for the envelope, um, I just used my envelope punch board. Um, if you don't have an envelope punch board, you can just 
take um, a regular envelope and take it apart and use it as a template and trace around and cut it, cut it out. But I just used my envelope punch board and I did a five bar card, which is four by five and a half. And then I just follow the instructions on making the, the envelope. And then I made my card to fit in here, which is again, four by five and a half. And I just used some design papers to decorate it on the inside and a couple stickers on the outside. Super simple. So that goes back like that. And that, this is a super cute project, but again, and you could add more, you could add more stuff on here. Look, little, you could make these little flip ups. You could make these little pockets. I mean, possibilities are endless. This is an adorable project. So then the little belly band goes back on here. like so. So there you go everybody. That's my leveled up project using the Club G45 kit volume one which is the Le Romantique gatefold card designed by Annette Green. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.